some of the, some of the things that are often kind of um, said to me, especially by by humanist friends, they will they will say, um, um, obviously Christianity has played a part in Western liberal values, um, but uh, even without Jesus Christ, we we would have gotten to where we've gotten to. <laughs> no, I mean I mean. I, and it's so odd that it tends to be people who who valorise science and mm. Darwin and the theory of evolution. Mm -hmm. But I'm mean, I'm entirely with Stephen Jay Gould on this, who okay. says who famously said that um, if you rewound the clock of Earth's history, you would not get humans. There's nothing inevitable about the way that that evolution has gone. If you know a creature in the Precambrian gets squashed, mm -hmm. then potentially the entire course of life. Mm -hmm. has changed yeah. we have you know we yeah. have eight fingers yeah you know, I mean, so and, and i think the same is true of historical contingency mm -hmm. there's nothing inevitable at all about the emergence of um the qualities or the val the values or um the teachings of of christianity at all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you can't you I can't mean, they would, assemble they would, them they would, from they other would, sources well you know i mean if if you want a, a, a sense of of um, of what the world might have looked like um, without Christianity, you could look at India, right. where you have very rich philosophical traditions. You have very mm. rich traditions of of worshiping gods. Um, you you don't have something that emerges and essentially wipes that out. Mm. Um, you I, you know, absolutely imagine a world where Christianity doesn't emerge and you know that ten percent of Jews and 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 what Jew what 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 the Jewish scriptures offer to Gentiles remains highly appealing. Mm -hmm. So there's a kind of churn of of conversion, but because the difficulty of becoming Jewish is such, mm -hmm. it, it would never rise. You know, it would never mm -hmm. become universalist on the scale that Christianity does. But you could imagine that there are you know people continue to worship the traditional gods, mm -hmm. and that there are kind of philosophical traditions that go back many many thousands of years, mm -hmm. um, and you know, there's no place there for Christianity in that 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 kind of alternative world. Mm. And could we though have generated some kind of universal human rights and that that sort of stuff? Out but I don't see why you would. Materials. Right. Why would you? I mean, right. the, the idea of human rights. Mm -hmm. I mean, the idea that human rights kind of hangs in the ether, waiting mm. to be discovered. Right. Is is as theological as believing that the Lord mm. Jesus Christ rose from the dead and sits at the hand of God the Father. Yes. I mean, it's 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 yes. it's. It requires a leap of faith. Yes. The difference is, is that Christians recognise that belief in, 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 in the divinity of Christ requires belief. Whereas, you know, <laughs> lots of people just assume yeah. that human rights are something that exists. Yes. But they're not. They're, they're, right. they're the, the, the result of specifically legal developments in medieval Christendom. Yes. Uh, the, the, the emergence of, of um, this theory... By the canon rights lawyer, by 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 the canon lawyers, in, from the twelfth century onwards, mm -hmm. it it doesn't just spontaneously emerge. Yes, but you hold dear to your heart those liberal values. You personally hold dear to your hearts that that the weak should not be cast off, and that there's there's an equality. Of yeah, but I recognise now that they're not, you know, that they're mm. Christian values. Yes, yes, and of course the what it opens up is the is the recognition that that actually without Christian faith, mm. Mm. then w ultimately what is the underpinning for that? Yes. And the, the, the kind of idea of, uh, that, that, that humanists propagate that somehow science proves this, I mean, it seems to me grotesque. Right. You know, science, science is a mirror in which you see what you want to see reflected back. Yes. So the Nazis use science to justify you yeah. know, racial genocide. Yeah, and liberals genocide. use it to justify, uh, you know, let's you know, hug the world. Yes, but both of them, yeah, reflect the cultural yes. prejudices of the, 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 the people who are looking in that mirror of science. 